All right, so uh, Sandejo is, uh, is struggling in coverage. 80% of the passes thrown his way have been completions. That seems like an awfully big number. Uh, 200 yards allowed, three touchdowns allowed. Sometimes you can't tell on touchdowns. Sometimes it might be on somebody else's fault, and you, you just get caught because you're the one on camera. But I think these are legit. Um, 80% thrown, have, that means he's not knocking down too much. Yeah, listen, every guy, every good uh, uh, finds the vulnerabilities in the defense and they try to expose it. So I would just expect more of that from Roethlisberger, who, who's a pr pretty smart guy and a pretty durable guy. All right, so if you've got Sandejo on the starting lineup, would you consider starting Shed uh, Sheldrick uh, Redwine over him? Well, it's funny when he got in and and uh, and did what he did. I don't know if you heard the comment, Les. He he said he walked into the game and looked at the ball and <laughs> said, "I want you" or something like that. Or I gotta have know, one of you. I gotta have one of you. So uh, maybe his maybe his uh, visualization is uh, a reason enough to get him in on the field and see how that works. You know, I heard them on radio talking about. I guess uh, uh, Stefanski said it about uh, visualization and. Some of the callers were surprised about it, kind of made fun of it. If you're a pro athlete, you have to have that visualization. It's part of what you do yes. to prepare. Well, certainly, you know, you and I are, are big golf fans, and I know how big it is in that sport. I mean, I, when, when they're standing behind the ball looking down the fairway, they're not, you know, they're not trying to pick out a tree to aim at. They're watching in their mind the ball, the, the flight of the ball and where it's going to land right down to the – to the specific yard length. So, yeah, it's, it's big in that sport, and I think it's probably big in a lot of other sports. Yeah, 